with RSPCA South Australia. I've been inspector for more than eight years. Uh, in that time, I've personally investigated more than 4,500 reports of animal cruelty. In this time, I've seen the dark side of society and I've witnessed the kinds of suffering and neglect that I didn't even think was possible. I've cried, I've been angry, I felt helpless and just so frustrated. I'm now gonna tell you a story about Mitzi, who was lucky enough to have a second chance at life. I first dealt with Mitzi's owners back in 2013. I let them know that I was concerned because even though Mitzi was in good condition now, as she aged, she'd require more care and they may not be able to provide her the care that she needed. Three years passed and I received a call that a Maltese cross had been seen in poor condition at this property. I attended with a heavy heart and found Mitzi. I'm not easily shocked, um, but her condition shocked me. Mitzi was so badly matted that she had prickles, feces, and even a chip packet embedded into her coat. Her teeth were rotten, her nails overgrown, and her ears infected. And when I looked closely, I could see that there was a burr directly embedded through the center of her eyeball. So I couldn't even comprehend the kind of pain that Mitzi would have been in. She was sedated that afternoon, fully clipped, the burr removed from her eye and treatment for her ears commenced. It didn't take long until Mitzi was adopted into a new family and thought her eye just made her more special. People ask us inspectors, how do you do it? How do we cope with what we see and the colour of people that we have to deal with? I just tell them it's dogs like Mitzi that keep us going. 